The weather heard some thunder tonight. I thought, here we go. Come on, here it mm -hmm. comes. It sprinkled, but still, it's, it's better than no sprinkling. That's at all. right. That's true. Uh, we'll really take this. Yeah. We have another opportunity for tomorrow for some areas, and then Sunday it'll pick back up once again for us. Let me show you though the storm reports that we had today. We had a couple of wind damage reports come through East Texas. We'll plot those here on the map, and these were located. Well, the first one was located three miles south of Alto. We had a tree and a power line come down here along FM 1911. The other report in Shelby County, about 10 miles to the west of center along Highway, Highway 7. So we did see some heavier thunderstorms, damaging wind gusts within a few of those heavier storms did come through. On the radar tonight, just a few areas of light precipitation still holding up. We've been seeing a couple of more moderate to heavier showers like one near the Morris, Camp, and Titus County line there. Certainly cannot rule out an additional thunderstorm possible overnight, but just mostly just some light rain continuing to roll on through. The rainfall amounts today estimated by the Doppler radar were quite high. This was earlier this afternoon in Titus County, about an inch and a half or so. Look at this though, the amount near three inches in northern Panola County Doppler radar estimate near New Summerfield about 2.3 that heavier storm near Chandler around seven o'clock dumping about an inch and a half of rainfall and we go down into deep east Texas. Notice here near Alto where we did have some of that wind damage reported along with torrential rain about an inch and a half there and right along the Angelina and Trinity County line rainfall total there estimating about 2.2. These are the airport totals not overly high Jacksonville about a half an inch. Our weather watcher in Alizan, which is over in Nacogdoches County, picked up over an inch of precipitation. So a good amount of rain for some of us to be able to see. 70s for most areas, 80 over at Tyler Pounds right now. And still some steadier rain continuing off to the east near Longview and stretching back over toward Marshall. Futurecast still showing some of the areas of rain that will continue as we go through this evening and into overnight and certainly cannot rule out some of this even into tomorrow morning as we start our day. Now, most of the day tomorrow should be dry, but with some daytime heating in the afternoon, some breaks in the clouds, we will see a few more additional isolated showers and a few storms. Some of those could still linger up to seven or eight o'clock, so we'll have to watch for that closely. Seven day forecast near 90 tomorrow, lower 90s this weekend. All eyes focus on Sunday and Monday. That's our next front. Sunday afternoon, we'll look for thunderstorms. That's followed by a big cool down as we move into early next week. Look at those highs in the 70s and the 80s. Overnight lows, chilly down into oh the 50s. Goodness. I hope you have some of your fall recipes ready. We're getting ours ready. I know to go I have mine. Because cooler weather does look to come briefly before we warm back up next. Next Wednesday and Thursday. Sounds great. Okay.